Okay, we're back. And now we're going to be doing a little psychoanalysis of Sam's dream. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yowch. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Nothing unusual there. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was me? It was me! You? Hmm... I think you... represent, represent yourself. yourself! I didn't even realize that was possible. Yeah, oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. <laughs> Tell me, did the other you say or do anything... unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? There was Sybil. It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. Creepy. You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's got to be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful. Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. Not you queer ungrateful guys. pup. I went through three weeks of labor for you. Yeah. Oh, it is your mother. I was right, as I usually am. Uh, just don't even think about it. It is a dream. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Bosco from the inconvenience store. Ah, yes. You go to him when you need things. Yes, he represents your father. Bosco's my daddy? Uh, symbolically, yes. Literally, I sure hope not. In oh, your dreams, <laughs> was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Yes, that's just what I expected. Does Bosco even have a car in real life? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doo-da, doo-da. But that's not unusual. How's that not unusual? I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Hmm, the rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? Let's see, fish? It was a poor little fish, gasping for air, and yet totally unharmed, in case you're a member of an animal cruelty organization. Hmm, a fish out of water. Perhaps you're bothered by feelings that you don't belong. Maybe so. But trust me, Sam, you belong in therapy. Aw, that's sort of sweet. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Something bothersome. What was it? It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well... I noticed something weird sticking out That's of the rat hole. That's a literal translation. Something bothersome. What was it? You know, this is psychotherapy. It was a hot Before weenie of indeterminate maturity. A weenie in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism there. Oh. Yes, there's plenty of symbolism there. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away. Things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. I don't think so. Nope, I'm proud! That's Max! I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, something you're ashamed of. What was it? 
a whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. Don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls. And by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. We're not. <laughs> I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, something you're ashamed of. What was it? A parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. Fair point. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Um, let's see. What else? Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. Bad joke. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was in it? There was a grubby little rat floating in there. You subconsciously find rats refreshing? Well, I guess that explains why you moved into this neighborhood. It may be more that I you noticed something is, peculiar uh, in the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was it? It was a massive death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. <laughs> Probably is. I noticed something peculiar in the I'm water going cooler. Through these a source of refreshment. What was it? The only things that are important I'll do in the... It was a crisp new copy of Self-Loathing Weekly. Oh, that is refreshing. I never miss an issue. Let's see, is there anything on the dartboard? I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Hmm, Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? I take pleasure in moving others. Ooh. Not wanting to I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? It was a garish tattoo. Wow! Wow. That is so deep. Not really. In other words, you don't know what it means. No. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? A diploma. It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No. No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. I should point out Sybil has a habit of not really believing. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Needles. It was a cactus. Hmm. Your sustenance is needles. Uh -oh. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? No. Yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? Ah! I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? A hefty sack of cash was in full flower. Oh, you think money grows on trees? You're dreaming. Well, money is a source of I sustenance for a lot of people. I noticed something strange growing on it. my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? This is a weird dream. It was a can of some unknown carbonated beverage. Uh, I think you need a dietitian, not a therapist. <laughs> I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. You wish. The donut box. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? It was a cheesecake. And I mean literally a piece of cheese in a cake. What does that represent? 
No, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random nonsense. I hope so. I have I just like gotten cheesecake. something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a fruitcake. A Christmas? fruit cake. Hmm. The fruit cake uh, commemorates the day when your loved ones finally cart you off to the funny farm. Then you can be sure to expect a fruit cake from me, lady. Oh, well, you're I not just loved one. Something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, let me just say, I hope you two will be very happy together. Oh, my uh, God. thanks. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? Okay. What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Yum. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Yeah, that, those are the only two important things is the uh, Wow, cake. it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide. No! no! Okay, so now we have the filled out form. But yeah, the only two important things were the friend and the cake. Um, and the, it's different every time. Not what you get in the dream, but the symptoms. So you have to combine the two every so often. Like there's one where you are obsessed with marrying your mother, I'm guessing. You know, like there's all kinds of crazy ass. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Good idea. Oh, okay. Let's go! Sorry I'm being so quiet. It's just... I can't really out-joke this thing. Max, hold still. I want to talk to you. What do we do? Stick the form in the slot so we can go inside and take down that has-been hypnotizing Brady Culture. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot. Form reader. WHY IS THERE A MONKEY?! <laughs> that monkey's actually kind of fucking creepy. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. Ugh. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Now I want ice cream. Eh, I have a fast robin near me. I can get some tomorrow. This yeah. reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Uh. Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Juan Cheney in a bottle fright way. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work! Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here! Yeah! Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. God damn it! I think I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans Why forever. Did you How cruel. You could have started an organ playing over? career. You're actually good. So, so oops. since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, 
I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In uh, your dreams, uh, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. Um... Max? What? What's happening? Oh, no! Oh, no! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. It's a hypnosis, you, not a conspiracy, you dude. You already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. What's he gonna do? Must deliver Mickey Rooney. <laughs> I'm with Sam. Too far. I must deliver videos Grab too far. Grab the cheese! I must deliver videos too far. Too far. God damn it. Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. Oh, don't even try it! We need to try it! He's hypnotized! I love that part. Right now, I think Sam does too. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. Second one. You love me. You adore me. Become video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy. I'll save you. Okay. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> That was great! But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started! Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Well, first things first. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. I wouldn't want to turn Brady back on. Let's take out... This. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! Fuck no! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. Hmm. It's just a dream, Sam. I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to Cable, for all eternity. Bicycle pump. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. I will be universally loved by everyone in the universe. No, you won't, you little. That doesn't even work in a dream. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch. I can't scratch. See, I gotta remember what to do here. Weird. Strange.
Brady culture. It's Brady culture made of cheese? Uh, uh, uh. Enigmatic. Hmm. Don't mind me, I'm actually trying to remember how to do this. Queer. Ah, that's it. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! <laughs> now we have probably very disturbing head. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? Yeah. No! <laughs> Oh my. Hairball. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Okay. Now we gotta get rid of the cheese bag. You want to name every single one of your children after me. Hmm. Not even in a dream. Maybe it's on the bike. I'm trying to remember what to do. That doesn't even work in a dream. I'm now having trouble with a puzzle. Not even in a dream. I wonder. It opens the Dance, cage. puppet, dance. doesn't even work in a dream. Hmm. I don't remember how to do it. And when I take out the gun... Okay, it is a timing puzzle. I love my hair. And you Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like uh, to introduce you to a little friend of mine. That's how you do it. When he talks. No, the cheese must stand alone. No! I think that's and the last one. bites the cheese. Literally. Oh, uh. oh no, he's awake. What done for? Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator. Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. Oh, that no. pursuit eomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture? Ibo man, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. He's got it in for Sorry, everybody. Bosco, no can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis inducing energy beams. A hypnosis blocker? I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Hmm. There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. So we gotta find an anti-hypnosis device.
Thank God there's no more freaking. Maybe somebody on the that phone won't help me rescue Max. Or the coat hanger might. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. You know who would have loved that? Max. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. That makes me miss Max for some unknown reason. Maybe because of all the cheese in there! Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to forgive me because I think I'm a little dirt on what to do next. You can't really do anything except what he's supposed to do without Max. I wonder if going back is what I'm supposed to do. I'm not going back to that asylum until I've got a working defense against that dastardly hypnotic ray. Good point. Maybe Sybil knows something. Max, is that you? No, I'm starting to hallucinate. Maybe the hypnosis hasn't quite worn off. Sybil would know about hypnosis. Maybe she knows something. Doc! Max is gone! Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No! That megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him! I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm. My lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Yeah, she's a bit of a multi-talented person, our symbol, but yeah, I was right. She had the plans. Something tells me maybe she was psychoanalyzing Bosco? Luckily, we do know someone who is a little more techno-advanced than we are, and I keep looking at the screen, I apologize. And I do mean Bosco. So we'll have him build it and then the final fight. Because we're kind of running high on time. So let's give him the plans. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it, a death threat? Even better, it's instructions for the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. Hmm, let's see a calendar for that, yeah. Yeah, I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna, got it. Like maybe the coat hanger? Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco Tech innovation. And here it is, the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old Moolah gauge is running on empty. I take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Okay, so he gave us a freebie. Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashions in this neighborhood. Really, be that severe? Well, we got our Bosco Tech. We'll be okay. Next time on Santa Max Culture Shock.
We go to Brady Culture and kick his... I can't say ass because I'm picking up the hair. Catch you later, guys.